Senator Antonio Sanguino has condemned the fact that Venezuelan deserters could be receiving training in hotels on Colombian territory to prepare a military operation against the government of Nicolás Maduro. There are videos in which soldiers appear with hoods on and admit that they are part of Operation Freedom and that the operation is waiting for orders from the supposed interim president Juan Guaido to begin military action against the Venezuelan National Guard, which is loyal to President Maduro. In this video, one of them speaks with an air military authority in an attempt to split the armed forces. We are here in the city with only one mission, which is to free our country following the instructions given by our commander-in-chief, Juan Guaido, as part of Operation Libertad. The Colombian government denies all this, but it still hasn't clarified the situation of these former soldiers in Colombia one month after they entered the country. There is no military training in Cúcuta. That is false. And anyone who says that, and I say this bluntly, although I don't like to use the word, is lying. The only training they might be receiving from the National Training Institute is information technology and communications. The human rights defender Wilfredo Cañizares says the Colombian government must explain if these former soldiers are refugees, why are they still being kept in hotels in Cucuta and Villa del Rosario? And why are they talking about Operation Freedom? There is no reason for them to be in places like these, for them to be locked up and prevented from leaving or speaking to anyone. They are virtually imprisoned. What is the Colombian government waiting for? What is it organizing with these soldiers? Why do they refuse to deal with this matter publicly and transparently? The UN Agency for Refugees, the ACNUR, has also not said anything about these actions, which would contravene the international rules on refugees and would also mean that President Ivan Duque is in breach of the Colombian Constitution.